problem with minimum wage is that it's just a number. It's the lowest amount that your employer can pay you. But minimum wage families just can't make ends meet, even with both parents working full time. Even though minimum wage has gone up significantly in the past 14 years, it still isn't enough for a family to live on. Minimum wage isn't tied to the cost of living. A living wage, unlike minimum wage, is based on a calculation of how much it costs a family of four to live in a specific place. It's not the legal limit, it's a wage employers can choose to pay, and it's calculated using 10 different measures, like the cost of rent, food, and childcare. It also considers the value of government programs like rent assist and tax credits for families with children. The more help the government provides families, the lower the living wage. In Winnipeg, the living wage is just over $14 an hour, quite a bit higher than minimum at $10.70 an hour, but it's all in the name. Minimum wage is the lowest you can legally go. Living wage is the lowest you should go so you can actually live here. On minimum wage, a family of four can't escape poverty. Even with two parents working full time, the family will remain more than $1,500 under the poverty line. A living wage is designed to give families economic security. It doesn't include everything, such as home ownership costs, retirement savings, or interest payments, but families get the basics, and it's over the poverty line. Minimum wage isn't just bad for the employees earning it, it's bad for the employers who hired them. Since families making minimum wage are living under the poverty line, they're under a lot of stress, and that doesn't help employee morale. <sighs> Research suggests that being underpaid and overworked costs Canadian employers $4.5 to $6 billion per year in absenteeism. Paying a living wage also increases morale, productivity, and customer satisfaction. Plus, paying a living wage is something to brag about. Assiniboine Credit Union pays a living wage. They can put it right on their website, and they do, because who doesn't want to be good to their employees? We've done the research, and the results are in. A living wage keeps families healthier, increases productivity at work, and stimulates the economy through increased spending. Nobody strives for minimum. Shouldn't wages reflect that? <laughs>